you look after the sea? I think the sea is amazing. The sea is full of really cool creatures. So you've got things like sharks and whales, and dolphins and fish. And there's lots of amazing things in the sea. And also the sea does really amazing things for us. So I know, Georgia, that you like to eat fish and your mummy likes to eat fish and your daddy and your brothers and all the fish comes from the sea. And I also think that you like to breathe. Do you like to breathe? What happens if you don't breathe? Yeah. You'll live. You'll live. And without the ocean, without the sea, we wouldn't be able to breathe because most of the, um, the oxygen that you breathe comes from the sea. All the, all the plants and animals in, in the sea. So, I think it's really, really important to look after the sea. And because there's so many people who live on planet Earth, we haven't been very nice to the sea. And we've taken too many things out of the sea. And we've, we've damaged it in some places. Some places we've looked after it. But I think it's really important to make sure that everyone, all the little boys and all the little girls, when they grow up, that they've got a sea that, and an ocean that they can use and they can see it and they can enjoy it and see all the animals. So that's the reason I look after the sea because I think it's a really important place. Do you, do, you think, do you think that's a good reason to look after the sea? Did you, do, have, you, have you ever seen anything amazing in the sea? Yes, once I saw a dolphin splashing. Oh. And did, did, did you like the dolphin? Yeah. Do, you think, do, you, do you think it's important that we should look after those dolphins? Yes. Yeah. Um, so it's really important to look after the sea, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what's your favourite animal from the sea? Um, dolphins. Dolphins. <laughs> I like looking after dolphins. And I've done lots of work out at sea and seen lots of dolphins. And I, I, I really like looking after dolphins. How do you look after the sea? We look after the sea by doing different things. One of them is that we try and teach people about the importance of the sea. So we try and teach them about different habitats in the sea and how important they are so that people can learn to look after them. We also do research to try and understand how, how we can protect the ocean, how we can protect um, different parts of it and how we can stop damaging it. And we also look after the ocean by trying to restore it. So that means where it's been damaged in the past, uh, we're trying to, to plant it. So imagine if you went outside and some of your garden had been damaged, you'd try and plant it again, wouldn't you? You'd try and plant some of those trees. And that's what we're doing in the sea. We're trying to replant parts of the, the ocean with, with a plant called seagrass. And that's, that's really cool because that seagrass is a wonderful habitat for, for baby cod. Do you, like, do you like eating cod from the fish and chip shop? So we're, we're trying to plant uh, places that the baby cod can live. And that seagrass is like a, a sort of a place that is like a nursery. So does, does Frank go to nursery or daycare? Um, he goes to Duanas. Duanas, yeah, nursery. Duanas, yeah. Yeah. Is, is, that, is that like a nursery, a bit like a nursery, is it? Yeah. So, um, seagrass is like a nursery for baby fish because it's a place that those, those baby cod can be really safe and happy and they can be well fed and looked after and they can grow really well. So that's why we're planting seagrass because it's a really important part of the ocean to, to restore. That's a good question. Next question. What do you like about the sea? 
I like going in the sea. So I like being free in the sea. And that means swimming or jumping in the sea. Or most importantly, getting a, a scuba mask or a snorkeling mask on and looking what's in the sea. So looking at all the animals and the plants and sometimes diving down with my snorkeling gear on or when I'm very lucky, getting some scuba diving equipment on and that means putting a big tank on my back and rather than breathing from the air, I breathe the air out of a tank with a special special regulator that I put in my mouth and I put a mask on and some fins and I go underwater and I, I'm able to breathe underwater and swim around and see all the fishes and the sharks and the plants and the, the animals, all the amazing things. And being able to just sit there and see and, and observe all those incredible animals and plants in, in the sea, that's my favorite thing. And it's really nice when sometimes like a baby fish comes up to you or um, a big fish or a big shark swims past you. That's really, really exciting. That's, that's my favorite thing to do in the sea. And that's not because I don't like sharks because they're scary. They're not scary. There's, the, the, there's a couple of sharks in some places in the world that are a bit scary. But most of the sharks around the world. There are one country that has sharks in Australia. There are there are lots of sharks in Australia, but most of those sharks in Australia aren't aren't scary. Um, most of those sharks in Australia are just quite interesting, and they'll they'll come up to you, sniff you out. You know, like when you um, you first meet a, a cat or a first meet a dog, and they they come up to you and they sniff you out, don't they? They check check whether you're okay. And then they go on. And a shark, most of the time, they just come up to you, they check you out, and then they go on, just like a dog does or just like a, uh, a cat does. And, and they're harmless, aren't they? So a shark, most of the sharks are really nice, and uh, we need to look after the sharks. Um, so they're not scary things, and it's amazing seeing them in the water. So you shouldn't, you shouldn't be scared of them. And have, have, you, have you ever been to an aquarium and seen a shark in the aquarium. Did you like seeing that? There were sharks in the aquarium when we walked. But I'm scared when I walk across there because I feel <laughs> like I'm going to fall. My will fall to me. <laughs> Was it exciting though? Yeah. Thank you, Richard. It's okay. It's very nice. Nice to be your superhero. Although I, ha I haven't got a cape. Do I need to wear a cape to be a superhero?